growing up, I always had cinnamon rolls as like my favorite special treat. My mom always used to make them and I could tell when she was making them downstairs and I'd go down and it was always very nice to wake up to the smell of cinnamon rolls. I'm making my TikTok about how to make cinnamon rolls or it's not a TikTok how to make cinnamon rolls. I'm making an aesthetic food making video. But I definitely should have guessed that doing this on a Wednesday wouldn't be good because production day always sucks. Sister. This is kind of the setup. It's a little bit messy. That's okay. I've basically just killed the yeast. I used to be very into cooking when I was little. I wanted to be a chef and everything, but it's just been so long. And I've had a lot of previous food issues, so I want to have a healthy relationship with food again. It's just been fun to be able to express myself in another way again and not really care about what other people think or do. I'm just posting these for myself and for my own therapeutic value and to get a better grasp on my life again. Maybe heal my inner child or something. This morning I decided to make cinnamon rolls. It's a treat my mom would make me on special occasions and something I always loved. Recently I've been trying to work on my relationship with food a lot especially because when things get difficult, like this semester has, I tend to revert back to bad coping mechanisms. By revisiting things I really loved as a child, I'm hoping that as I continue along, my relationship with food will begin to get better. I'm starting this series for myself where I just cook. I allow myself to enjoy the process of cooking, enjoy eating it, enjoy what it looks like, and where the food comes from. Taking the time to make something I loved from my childhood is just one step of the process in starting to heal. I hope I fell in love with cooking again, and I hope you enjoy seeing what I cook.